I want to show you how to do checkboxes within Elementor, or basically any website where you can dump in a little bit of HTML. It is really simple than you actually think. So I'm just going to go over here and drop in a text editor, nothing fancy. And under text box, I'm going to drop in this little bit of code. That is called the input checkbox. And I've got the word, uh, I've got some NBSP to add in some spacing. And then I've got the word no time. Let's change that to be checkboxes like that. Okay. Checkboxes. I just want to show you what happens if I get rid of these NBSPs that we have at the uh, bottom, oh, well, at the end here. Now the wording is right up against the checkbox. And by adding in um, and NBSP, as I have done there, it adds in an extra space. If I was to add in another one, for instance, which we will do just here with semicolon, it then moves it further along to the right. So you can almost make it look ex kind of how you want. Um, if I go to style, I can modify the style of the lettering and the wording, by the way. Of course, bear in mind, how does it look against your checkboxes? I'm just going to leave that like there as about a 17 at the moment. Now, this is a really great way of doing something like this. And you could, if you want, also just duplicate and have tons of little checkboxes. And if you're not convinced, okay, look, I can hit the checkbox. Now, that checkbox isn't going to take them to another page or activate another widget. This is where maybe you've got like a, 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 you're selling a course or consultancy and you're saying to people, hey, are you struggling with X? Do you have a problem with Y? Can you not get out of your Z? You might have checkboxes and they tick it as almost to kind of reinforce the fact that, yeah, you do want to get onto this course or something like that. However, there is one little tip I will recommend. So this is what you would use. The code will be um, in the description, um, uh, the link to get it. But what if we want to do something a little bit different? So rather than having the text, I'm actually going to use an icon list like this. So let's drop the icon list in, okay? I'm going to get rid of all of them except the first one. I'm going to go into the first one and I'm now going to get rid of the image or the icon. And where we have the title, I'm going to drop it in here like so. Exactly the same code with the NBSP for the spacing. Now I could now I have a bit more of a nicer looking way of doing it. So if I now duplicate all of these, duplicate, duplicate, do, 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 like that. No time, no time, no time, which is a bit weird. But anyway, I can now go to styling and I can do the space between. I could add a divider line in between if I so wanted, like that. This is now a lot more easier and quicker. Um, I can start to mess around with the alignments, which you could do with text editor as well. I could do a dotted line. I could increase the weighting of it, which I don't really want to do. In fact, I'm going to get rid of that. I don't, I don't like that line at all, to be honest. Um, but you could do that. The icon is irrelevant, but you can modify the text as well. But this is a really, really simple way. Sorry, I was clicking too quick there, okay? where you could add in like a checklist almost, um, which I think is a great and easy way to do it. So I've used icon list and in here, I've just dumped in a little bit of HTML code and it does the job. Hey, I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow and I'll keep seeing you.